Suffolk black ham gets this black crust from its curing process, which is like no other, using molasses, brown sugar and a local black porter. Soaking the ham in this sweet marinade doesn't just turn it black, it helps balance the flavour and break away from those more salty flavours of hams that are dry cured only using salt. The whole process takes 10 weeks, in which the ham is first dry cured, then marinated and then smoked. But it's all worth it. And here, Suffolk, England, is where this has been happening for over 200 years. How much beer is this? Like, this is quite a huge barrel. This is 39.5 uh, litres of uh, black porter beer. Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's like a stout, it's like a Guinness. And this is the basis for our, our black hams. All right, and uh, is this a local beer, right? It's a local beer from uh, Nevergate Brewery in Clare, which is an hour and 20 minutes from here. As Mark releases the pressure in the barrel, the porter drains out into a cooker. Here is where we will make enough marinade to soak 40 hams. So you maybe want to dip your finger in there and just try it. Can I go? Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's quite a good beer. <laughs> Can I have a glass? The whole point of the marinade is that the marinade gets into the gammons. It adds depth, adds flavour. During the period of marination, the muscles are softened by the beer. So if you sit in the bath for half an hour and you look at your fingers, they sort of dry out and wrinkle. Yeah. But this is in the bath for six weeks. The beer first cooks on its own for three hours at 95 degrees Celsius. Then Mark adds sugar and molasses to the marinade. Yeah, there's quite a lot of sugar. This looks like we're making cake. It smells just like, yeah. So why is this recipe like so sweet? It goes back a long way. I think it's all part of adding flavor to meat when meat was very salty. Because when you think about it, there was no refrigeration back in the 1800s, 1900s, or very little. And you wanted to preserve your meat, and the way to preserve it was with salt. But also the salt, it's not particularly pleasant to eat a lot of salt. So this was a way of dispersing the salt. Oh, sticky. Pure grade molasses, much blacker than you. Ooh. As you can see, this is part of the ingredient for black ham. Dance. It also being sweet uh, adds uh, not overly sweetness to the ham. It's quite a, a strong flavour. It's giving me some Christmas vibes, sugar mixing. Look at that, it's a fountain. In total, each marinade contains almost 40 kilos of brown sugar and molasses. Once the marinade is ready, it is left to cool down for a day. In the meantime, Mark strings the gammons, which have already been cured with natural salt, black pepper and fennel seed. This is uh, the leg of a free-range pig. This is around 11 kilos in weight. So this is just the rear leg of the pig, nothing else. This is ham, not sham. Do you want to hold that? 11 kilos. Okay, that's like a kettlebell. It's quite heavy. Here you have 20 gammons on the bone. This has been in here for a week so far. It, it has lost a little bit in terms of size. Yep. As you can see, it is gaining color, taste, yeah. flavor straight away. I turn them twice a week. I don't go to the gym, I lift ham and bacon. Oh. But by turning them, you get rid of the white patches and you get an even distribution of flavor throughout the ham. Because as you can see, it's quite dense meat and where they sit on top of each other, they don't get that flavor. So this is like a very long marinating process, much longer than like other curing processes. There's a nice color already there, you see? Yeah, and the black starts to come out. Hi, <laughs> Okay, I can't do it. The whole room smells quite strong. It's like you're, you're, a you're, you're tangy, you're, you're sweet. You're smelling the beer? Yeah. It's yeasty? Yeah, yeasty. The meat soaks in the marinade for six weeks. As the marinade penetrates the meat, the skin gets darker. But for all flavors to really come together, we need a final touch, smoking. At Emmet's, the hams are cold smoked, which means that the temperature of the smokehouse is no more than 48 degrees Celsius. Hotter and they will cook. This is our original smokehouse. We still have the original door. Dates from around 1820s, 200 years oh. old. So how long does the meat stay in there for? Well, I hang it in there and I let it drip initially because obviously it's been in the marinade. Yeah. I then put on the floor in the well 
the actual beach flower itself mm -hmm. and it will burn anything up to two days. The smoking is not part of the preservation, the smoking is part of the flavour. The smoke, like the cure, like the marinade, penetrates the muscle of the meat. This is not an injection of smoke, this is totally natural. So here again, we have ham, not sham. I really need to get this You're shirt. That one, yeah. <laughs> so this is uh, one of our black hams. It's beautiful, look at it. Mark also makes black, off-the-bone ham and bacon. Secret treasure chest. So these have also been uh, smoked. Ah, smells good this one, eh? After the smoking, customers can choose to get a cooked or uncooked ham. The hams sold at the shop are boiled, but they can also be roasted in the oven. Oh, woo. it has the same smell of the other room. As you can see, they're smaller now. When they're off the bone, they lose here again about two to three kilos. And so they cook down to around 5.7, 5.8, six kilos. Yeah. So actually the black is only the skin, outside skin. Black is the skin. But as you can see, the moisture gets into the meat, the flavor gets into the meat, the color gets into the meat. Yeah. It also becomes slightly fibrous. And this is where there's immense flavor. There are people who don't like crust on toast or crust on bread, but that's where the flavor is. Black hams are a local favorite. And it's even held a royal warrant for 36 years. It means that the royal family had black ham on their menu for over three decades. But unfortunately, my humble opinion is all you've got today. Mm, wow, nice. That's the flavor. Yeah. So good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's very sweet and um, tasty, you were saying. There's a good balance between sweet and salty. So you can see it becomes fibrous. It's delicious though. There's yeah. still a little bit of jelly. Is it the sugar, right? This, this is, is the, the marinade. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a nice bit of jelly in the middle there where the bone was. But as you get more towards the back, you get more and more fat and even more flavor because of the, uh, the skin area here. Yeah. So I have tried jelly deals, but so this is jelly ham. ham. It's unique to Emmett's. As I said before, it's ham, not sham. I'll open the door. Okay, yeah, I'll open the door for you. Heavy. <laughs> How's that? You have to put, the, the fan is on, so you have to put it. How? <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> not a good start. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, turn, I'll turn the fan off and then it's... <laughs> 